you know, charity begins at home. This is what I'm realizing. And when I say it begins at home, it begins with your own mental health. <laughs> Which means not dealing with charity. Or or sponsor or people who perceive their their <sighs> John, yeah. All right. So um we were gonna we didn't hear from Catskill Animal Sanctuary. It got to be almost, you know, midnight last night, and that was enough. We turned off all the phones, and yeah, right. Well, I, I think we had already decided last night that we're not, that, that they'll have to wait if they want to be included in our radio promotion for animal sanctuaries. They're going to have to wait till the summer, right? They're going to have to do business a little differently, and I want to speak to that. I want to speak to Kathy Stevens, the owner personally, the the founder. I don't want to talk to a radio guy who's walking on eggshells because the boss is not, uh, you know, whatever. This morning, they sent the copy over. It must have been close to midnight last night because that's when I turned my phones off. So they sent over the copy. First of all, John said, read the original copy. All right. Here is the original copy that I suggested for them. Remember, a radio promo spot can only be 30 seconds to 40 seconds tops. And I was very clear about that. And, I, and this is my copy for Catskill Animal Sanctuary. Okay, it's this little blurb you see here. And still, it's Catskill Animal Sanctuary located in the glorious Catskill Mountains of upstate New York. Become a family member sponsor an animal, pay a visit, bring the kids, commune with hundreds of happy. It, that This is already, it, it's already long, right? Bring the kids, but I'm, I was going to pack it in there. Commune with hundreds of happy, loved rescue animals, chickens, goats, piglets, everything in between. Stay at their gorgeous on-site B&B, &B, attend their full-on sanctuary tours and vegan educational events. Always something beautiful happening at the unforgettable Catskill Animal Sanctuary. The language spoken here is love. And then you've got a tag on uh, visit at WWC, how you can help. Right. So that's just that's just like a, an example. And that's what I showed to her to her uh, personal assistant. I said, how is that? He said, it seems fine, but she wants to make changes. It's not good enough for her. Meanwhile, she never contacted me personally to even say thank you for this uh ad placement that we are doing as a ch act of charity. <clears throat> she doesn't understand what's going on here. She's being given a gift. This is what they sent back close to midnight. This, this big long thing that's three times as long as the original, right? Talking about soulful sheep who might climb into your car with you. Um, <laughs> why do I want this sheep to climb into my car? Located in breathtaking Hudson Valley, just two hours from Manhattan. All right, listen, this is a person that doesn't know anything about uh, what I'm doing, I guess, right? Is that how you would say it? Yeah. It doesn't, I mean, you just, the people will find Hudson Valley on their own. They don't need your ad to tell them it's two hours from Manhattan. It, it really, what, are the, what does that matter? It's two hours from Manhattan? Okay, it's uh, seven hours from London. I don't understand what... <laughs> yeah, right. What, um, sponsor an animal for the animal lover in your life? Well, who would you do it for? The animal hater in your life? I mean, this is the thing. This is all garbage and it's extraneous. Nowhere does it say anything about... Your ad was a hundred million times better. This is a control freak who is like, this is my company and I want to talk about sheep jumping into my car. And really, it's crazy. But uh, this is what Howard was saying too. Right. We, you know, people are very, very uh, grabby. They're very protective of this thing that they have built. Right. So she has built up this Catskill Animal Sanctuary and now she wants to say all these little cutesy things about it. My biggest problem with this woman is that she never says thank you. Yeah. I think that's my biggest problem too. Yeah. My biggest problem with her is that she does not know how to say thank you. That's a bad quality if you right. And also we will bring up again the fact that you have been trying to contact her with regard to your estate, which is formidable. 
if if so anything should happen to you at this juncture in time, it's a really nice chunk of cash that they'd be receiving, but she has to talk to you about it. She has never bothered getting back to you about that. Right, right. So that that inheritance is going elsewhere, you know. I think that in, I think I know where that inheritance is going because I know that these people will take care of my cats. Mm -hmm. I know that these people will take care of my cats and that's the only reason that I would really choose I thought Catskill Animal Sanctuary would be perfect for that. Well, they'll take care of my animals if something ever happened to me and Christopher at the same time. You know, if something happened to me and Christopher's still alive, they're his responsibility. And nobody loves those kitties more than Christopher. He is the daddy of all daddies. That's true. It, it's true. They're nuts about him. And, well, they should be. He's very good to them. And I'm not worried about anything happening to them when, once, you know, if, he, if they're in his care. But if anything would, have hap would happen to him first and then I'm left with them, I, would, I need a sanctuary to place them. Yes. And this woman has proved herself not to be worthy of my trust. Yes. What is this with the sheep jumping into cars? I don't understand. <laughs> like a whole paragraph about the sheep being soulful enough and jumping into your car. And this is what I waited for three days for? This, this fucking a whole... First of all, this would go well over a minute. Yeah. I'm not going to cram out. Try to say it all. Located in New York's beautiful, breathtaking, brother, just two hours from Manhattan, Catskill Animal Sanctuary is 150 acre from 11 species to farm to animals. 11 spe I mean, all of this stuff. Here's the thing. All you need to do instead of all that crap is say, for more information, see us at www.catskillam. You know, you know, that people can do that themselves. They want, an ad is, is entertainment. This this is what ads must be. An ad must catch people's ear and be... She doesn't understand the concept of, of what I'm doing. That's what it is. Yeah. She's acting like they don't have this huge website and they don't have this huge font of information that's out there for people, like an online brochure that is, spans pages and pages and pages of information. She's trying to cram all her website into this 30-second ad. Now, sh some people don't get it, Lena. All right, well, I feel bad taking the opportunity away from them if she just doesn't get it. All right, well, she has the opportunity now to get in on the summer shift. If they want to do the summer shift, she can talk to you personally. Right. All right. Yeah. We don't want assistance. <coughs> it's been nice dealing with you assistance over there, but that'll do. Right. Because what, whatever's happening, something is getting lost in translation. You're a potentially important person in this woman's uh, agenda. And she doesn't have a clue to who you are or what you represent. Never mind, you know, what you do for Animal Rescue, what you're doing for many. Mm -hmm. And what your true mission is. Will she, I mean, would she even, I mean, I don't throw the John Lennon thing in these people's faces. The radio station, WFDU, they understand that I'm a spiritual clear channel and that I have a connection with John Lennon and with many spirits. And they understand and they respect that and they think it's a cool thing and they don't have a problem with just grasping that. Yeah. But that's something that I don't throw in the faces of these, of these sanctuaries. Let them find it out for themselves. We're out there. The videos are out there. They can see everything they need to see about us. And if they, hey, and if that really turns them off and they can't deal with it and it's like, we don't want to be associated with this one. She's kooky. You know, then bye bye. But there goes your free advertising. Maybe it doesn't mean that much to you. I don't know. It should because you're doing it for the animals, right? And that's why I'm doing it. 
I'm not doing it for you. And really, I'm not doing it for me. I don't need the publicity. I don't like publicity. I don't even show my face on camera. I'm very skittish about putting myself out there. I really am. But I have a mission, and that's to help animals and to enlighten the masses to a certain degree. And so, therefore, here I am. Right. Hang on, Lena. So, I guess I was expecting, you know, God knows what from this person from Catskill Animal Sanctuary. And I get this very hokey, long, long, super long blurb. So there's no way that would fit on a radio ad. And, again, if they want to get on the summer shift, we'll be doing this uh, promotion again in the summer. Sorry you've missed your chance for now, Catskill Animal Sanctuary. And this is John Lennon speaking. Mm -hmm. This is John Lennon speaking through and with Lena Lennon. And this is the story. You were first on the list. You were, see, Here's the thing. This is why this is a wake-up call. You are at the top of the list. You have always been at the top of Lena's list. She gives the most to you of all the uh, sanctuaries that she supports. She talks you guys up like crazy. She posts your link wherever she can, and she has many forums online and elsewhere. And this experience, it, it could leave a bad taste in her mouth, but I don't think she'll let it affect her, right? No, it won't affect me with uh, as far as generosity with them goes. But the thing is, this was my generous my generosity this year. I'm taking part of that money that I would usually use to foster some animals. Mm -hmm. And I'm buying radio spots with my underwriting skills. See, I'm the writer. This is the, this is the point, right? You're not the writer, Kathy Stevens. You don't get to write the ad. I write the ad. I ask you what, what's important, and sheep jumping into someone's car are just not important about this, about this operation. It may be cute. Maybe somebody wants a sheep to jump in their car. I don't know. I tell you, I wouldn't mind it. If it's my old car, you know, and they want to rip up the upholstery, you don't even want to know what my dog Herman did to the inside of that car. <laughs> and we still have that same car. So, yeah, if a sheep wants to jump inside my 2000 Hyundai, that's all right. It can do it. But I'm not going to do an ad and waste all this time when we could be talking about cool things like the vegan classes and y there's cool things on uh, on your site that we can do really quick and talk about you know bring the kids my god it's like the, the like a glorious petting zoo like it is the most glorious place these animals are great this is the ad right here you want stuff like this you want excitement you know these animals are adorable they've been saved from hideous situations they're also friendly they're excited to see you it's like you Okay, maybe the jumping in the car is part of that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. This is good enough. Catskill Animal Sanctuary. Go visit them today. Here's your ad, Catskill Animal Sanctuary. You get this one for free, too. You get them all for free from Lena. All for free. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's freezing in here. Why is it so... I think it's because of the, 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 the boiler. It's really cold in here. I mean, I'm sleeping with fucking two hats on. I woke up coughing with all schnots running down my face. I don't feel good now. Do I have the COVID? No, you'd know if you had the COVID. You had it the once. I did have it. I had a mild case of COVID once. Mm. It's scary. Your chest feels like it's like not going good. Like you can't breathe. You can't get your breath. Mm-hmm. I had to sleep sitting up and I couldn't really sleep well. And it was like for two nights like that. I thought, man, I'm going down. I'm going to meet my maker. I'm going to meet Johnny. I thought I already met you. Yeah. What's your point? <laughs> Can I jump in your car? You've already jumped in my car many times. Johnny, he's crazy. He does. He does. He would do. He would be screaming in my car and, and really distracting me too. Hey, this is no joke. Spiritual clear channeling. It's real. Real as veal, and don't eat veal either. 
That's the thing. That's what I think really needs to be promoted too. That don't, you know, the veganism, they have these great vegan cooking classes and stuff. Why are you talking about, like, if that's not in your copy, people are interested in that kind of thing. They have like big food tasting events and she didn't mention that. See, you be that's you're the underwriter. You're the you're the writer. You're the writer, sweetheart. Anyway, Fox Rescue. It's Fox on the run. That's gonna be the music, right? Fox I'm so excited because for Fox Rescue, the, that's gonna be our song, and I'm really excited about that. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> Fox on the run. So this woman, Michaela, or whatever, i got to get her name right. Uh, Malika, Michaela, she's gorgeous. She looks like a supermodel. But she's really a sweet mom from uh, Minnesota. And she's been rehabilitating and saving foxes. And it is the most adorable website. And I have forgotten all about them. I visited them a couple of times and donated it to them. Not, not, not recently. But I would love to help them. And they're doing a fundraiser right now. So I sent an email over to them this morning. I think she'll be right on top of this. And I get the feeling that I'll hear from them right away. And we can do put the foxes on the rotation. And that's it. And I'm not saying this to Catskill Animal Sanctuary to be like, nah, 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 you'd have missed your spot. But this is just how it has to be for now. I mean, this was a wake-up call. Uh, I, you can shoot the messenger all you want. I'm used to it. John said, listen, Lena, this is it. This is the wake-up call for them. Believe it or not, you're serving as a wake-up call to this Catskill Animal Sanctuary. They have to pay more, start paying more attention to the smaller-scale patrons. So uh, if if this helps your business, then good. I I surely hope that it does. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we have given you quite a bit of... Uh, of exposure now just talking about how much we love the sanctuary and how much we love the beautiful animals especially Cecil who I for I was the first one who fostered him when he was first rescued we gave a big chunk of money over there to Cecil the longhorn steer who was uh, rescued from a uh, roadside attraction at a car dealership and then he was left to die in a field somewhere and you know what? I love that steer. And I can't wait to come to Catskill Animal Sanctuary and give him a big kiss on the face. Because he's got a face like a forehead, just like my dog Herman. A big fat forehead. I'm going to kiss him right on the forehead. Cecil, you hear me? Yeah, he hears you. So my love for these animals is real. And my love for the mission is real. It's people I cannot stand. <laughs> they're the worst. <laughs> As Jerry Seinfeld says, they're the worst. They they just will drive you crazy. But you know what? It's all wrapped up in e 1818. It's all wrapped up in ego. And that gets in the way. And, you know, I could be to blame too here. My ego, like, how dare you tell me my copy is not good enough? My copy was good enough. Maybe that's a little bit of a part of it. But you know what? In this case, my copy was good enough. And Jocko, the guy who we first dealt with, her, pub her pub publicity assistant, he said it was great. She, she mucked it up. The, the, the leader of the pack over there mucked it up. So it's time to do a double take, Kathy, okay? And, and check out what happened there. And that's the story, right, John? I couldn't have said it really better. I could not have said it better. And um, I love you. And this is going to be a great day. And uh, yeah, you have a little bit of a cold, but we're going to have some more tea and we're going to have some soup and we're going to work on that and, and get, you, get, get, you, get you on your feet. Yeah, I need some cayenne or something. I need some hot sauce. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, so uh, today the card is Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Wands, um, sweetheart, why don't I know this? Uh, well, the Nine of Swords is, uh, you said Wands, all right. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry about that. Oh, you got to give it that push, all right. Yeah, we are almost, we are, we are, we're going to just make the deadline over at the radio, our, our radio deadline. 
and uh, we're giving it that final push. So anything can happen. I'm right here. Uh, We've got to record our next ad. Uh, I think it is. We, we don't know for sure if it's going to be the Foxes. I got my heart set on Foxes now. I wanted to do Fox on. All right. All right. Well, then we should try to get some copy prepared for the Foxes. All right. I need more tea. Okay. Mother and father. Yeah, you're already overextended. Hi. Yes, am I? Yes. You have to just have some more tea and put your hat back on. I know I'm freezing. All right. That's your job right now. More tea. Put your hat on. Okay. Love you. Love you too. You hear that? Yes. <laughs> when I'm feeling blue, all I have to do is baby think of you. Yeah. Honey, you and me got a groovy kind of love. A groovy kind of love. Yeah. When I'm feeling blue, that is just will not do because I love you. Ookie dookie do. You're just waiting for it to hit 2121. She knows me too well. <laughs> 